How's it guys and girls? I'm back on a new permission today and uh, as you guys can see today I'm going to use the Daystate Alpha Wolf in 22 caliber shooting the JSP redesigned 25 frame pellets at around 940 feet per second and um, as you guys can see I've also got the Vector Optics Continental mounted on the, the Daystate Alpha Wolf today and this is the 4x24x56 first focal plane and uh, just an amazing scope. So uh, today on this permission um, I've got some new things to shoot it's going to be uh, ground squirrels, rock pigeons and a lot of uh, Indian miners that um, I also need to take care of. Now um, this is not like with my previous videos at the dairy farm where there's tons of uh, birds at once that I need to shoot. This is more chilled. So um, hopefully today is going to make for exciting shots and um, hopefully I can please the, the farmer as well with uh, getting some um, good, re good results for him as well. So uh, sit back. Relax and enjoy. Oh, solid shot in the head. That was a cracking shot. down 46 meters another one bites the dust 46 meters again there's just a ton of them here Cracking shot. The wind is really messing me around today. Oh, beautiful shot. Hard and long shot at 120 meters. Not too bad. I quickly went to uh, 
fetch one of the, the ground squirrels that I shot and um, I'm going to show you now. Um, on the scope cam footage you can actually see them jumping around quite a bit after I shot them and so on. And it looks like some of the short, short placements are just, you know, not done well. But it's not the case. Um, like with this uh, ground squirrel, I shot it right here um, behind the, the shoulder. So this is a hard and long shot. Um, I think more lungs than heart and um, then they jump around because um, they're not dead instantly. Now I can go for, for a headshot but it's extremely difficult and the margin for error is way bigger than going for a bigger part of the body. So that's the reason why I try to go for, for heart and lung and stuff like that. Um, if I can go for a, for a headshot um, I'll, I'll do that because, because it's way more humane but with the wind like, like it is today, it is a little bit difficult to be very specific uh, right on the head. And because of the ranges that I'm shooting at, um, it makes it very difficult as well. Now you might wonder why don't I go closer then. Uh, the problem for, with that is, because it's open field here, they can see me from a mile away. So if I go in closer, they're just going to run off. So um, I'm sitting about 150, 160 meters away and um, I just take the shots. Now there are fairly a lot of miss shots but I'd rather miss uh, completely than uh, injure this, these little ones and um, you know uh, just not doing it ethical. So uh, I'll, I'll stick with the hard and long shots. I think that's the, the best for today. That was around 50-ish meters. Um, see the wind picked up a little bit and pushed the the, the pallet towards the, the heart and lungs. It's not a headshot, what I, what I was liking to go for, but um, it is one of those things. But luckily, I took it down and um, it expired in a few seconds. Right here, I was very lucky to get away with the shot cleanly. Unfortunately, I forgot to reset my turrets to zero after the previous shot. But luckily for me, the pallet still made contact where I wanted to. So remember, always reset your turrets to zero after your previous shot. About 40-ish meters. That's a clean kill. 50 meters. Oops, do it. 
Unfortunately, my time has run out for today, but I'll definitely be back on this farm to shoot more ground squirrels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.